Welcome to Chaotic Reunion. I'm Avier once again, or if you're here for the first time for this topic, welcome to the channel. If it's not already obvious, I'm a huge WoW fanatic. Uh, I've played since late BC, pretty much a Wrath baby joining in Wrath of the Lich King. In I would have I would say I joined early 08. Uh, and moved on from there, and have played since, with only slight breaks in between. Recently, it's come to my attention, and the attention of much of the community, that Blizzard is shutting down the Nostralius private server, which is a vanilla and Burning Crusade server that is one of the most popular private servers to date, uh, supporting, supporting about 12,000 concurrent players at one time which is amazing numbers for something that's not exactly uh, legal with the terms of service uh, but it, yeah it has been a big topic of discussion that Blizzard is shutting down Australia's and pretty much the consensus is Blizzard how could you or why sh why would you leave it alone and I thought I'd weigh in a little bit on the topic. So looking at things right now, I, I can't really side either way with community or with the Blizzard's legal team. It's kind of hostile ground no matter where you go. Um, Blizzard's legal team is well within their rights to shut down any and all private servers as they are not... They're, they're just against terms of service. It's the be-all end-all of that decision. What they're doing is completely within their rights, and we can't really, you know, go speak out against them or call them unfair because it's completely fair. The issue comes with the fact that it's really one of the last remaining vanilla servers ever, and they haven't charged a single cent for that. But it's just, again, it's still one of those moments that we're complaining about something that we shouldn't be allowed to do anyway. The unfortunate fact is that Blizzard's a huge company now, and I know a lot of people attribute it to Active Blizzard or Activision slash Blizzard, but if you actually read any of the agreements, Activision has virtually no say, if any at all, with Blizzard. It's simply a money agreement should things go sour, or really just money being transferred here and there. It's just a partnership in that sense, but really, Blizzard it, by itself, even without Activision, is just a huge company. And a lot of times it's going to be come down to the fact that the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. A very simple analogy that has been with us since the dawn of man, one would hope. And in that sense, the legal team, I'm sure, has to talk to the higher ups. But in the long run, the, the, the problem comes down to when they feel that there's something that they have to do for their job, they have to do it. Otherwise, why are they there? And... It, it, it sucks that it's something that people enjoy and that it has such a high player base and it's completely free, but at the same time, people playing on it have been playing with fire for quite some time, and it was only a matter of time, unfortunately. Anyone who'd played on Australia's, I can't imagine people thought that would last forever, and more will come. Maybe not to the same level of quality, or maybe even exceeding it. I'm sure people will try, try again. And we should enjoy those moments of uh, triumph that we can. Maybe this will also spark with the community something new that will be very similar. Or maybe Blizzard will actually finally consider letting, if not the legacy servers, perhaps the old content to come back in a form of alternate leveling. I mean, they have the Bronze Dragon Flight, which is the retcon flight anyway. Just stick them on in key locations to tell the, you know, tell players, hey, do you want to experience vanilla or do you want to experience Cataclysm? And even in, like, in front of Outland and uh, Northrend, just stick the Bronze Dragon Flight there and just say, you're not ready to go to the cool stuff yet, just go and train in the past and learn of our history. Like, you can do, you can do that so easily, and they should, in my opinion. But it's another topic for another time. It really... I don't want to side with, again, the community or Blizzard at this point because I don't know all the facts. I don't know what's prompted this. All I know is the server is shut down today. And I wanted to 
pay homage to this and it really it sucks but we knew it was coming I've been on the F chaotic reunion let me know what you think of it in the comments below let's have a reasonable discussion please if someone has different opinions than yourself try to listen and formulate your own basis on that I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao.